We have all heard a lot lately about which masks we should be using as the Omicron variant continues to get around. Experts say the N95 is the best and should not be confused with a KN95. One of the few facilities in the nation to make the highest grade N95 is just one state over in Virginia. Reporter Chris Horn takes us inside and shows us how masks are tested. As you might guess, business is booming here at IV Watch. They're making N95 masks, one of only a handful of companies that are authorized to do it in the entire country. Production is running at a high pitch at IV Watch in Newport News on a roll with spiking demand for masks. The manufacturing is overseen by the federal government. They audit us, they visit us to make sure that we make them properly. The CEO says no one oversees the manufacture of KN95s. I could make KN95s in my basement and nobody would knock on my door as I sold them. With Omicron on the rampage, orders for N95s are piling up for a company that says its mask fits and filters better than any other. We're running one shift now. That one shift sells pretty much as fast as we make it. So we're starting additional shifts now. American-made machinery and raw materials, half a million masks a week. N95s are nothing new. They've been used in construction and health care for years. This company is one of only seven authorized by the CDC and FDA to make medical grade N95s in the country. How good are they? We went to a room filled with airborne sodium chloride. Here's a mask that I've used occasionally over the past several months. We're going to test it and compare it with an N95. So there's definitely sodium chloride particles getting into your mask. The reading was 1,300 particles getting inside. The KN95 was next. It let in about half as many particles, but still failed. This N95 was letting in only about 30 particles, or about 50 times more effective than the cloth mask I had been using. That was Chris Horn reporting there from Virginia. And one thing to note about N95s, the CDC says ideally they should be used just once and they should never be used more than five times. And we should also mention there is a Tennessee tie to the N95 masks. The material technology that makes them possible was invented by Dr. Peter Sy, who retired from the University of University's Tickle College of Engineering, but came out of retirement as COVID started spreading, working to expand production.